These are the M580Rs wrapped in NT555 G2s. They look pretty sick. <laughs> and I hope you guys like them. Good morning, guys, and look at what came in the mail today. New wheels. I guess you could say I ordered these a little prematurely because well, we still got snow on the ground. So we don't have tires yet. I ordered those as well. They actually should be here today. It was like two day shipping, so I was like, well, let's get them in. So I'm gonna test fit one today and uh, we're gonna see how they look because these are a 32 offset and they are the M580Rs from Event Guard. So I don't know how um, much poke they're gonna be because we did run a uh, 45 offset on the last set of wheels, the HREs, but we also had a 12.5 millimeter spacer. So that put us at around like a 32 and a half offset. So this is gonna be like 0.5 millimeters more poke, if that makes sense. And I think I'm doing that right. We'll see how these look. We're also gonna be running a thicker tire. Last year we ran a 235. This year we're gonna be running a 245 on a nine and a half wheel. So still a little bit of a stretch, but not as much as a 235. So let's put a couple of these on the car. They look pretty sick. And just like every other video, we need more gas, so gas vlog is gonna be up next. show you the wheels until I have at least one of them on the side we're gonna test fit the rear and front so I'm gonna put one of these on and then I'll show you guys all right so the wheels are right behind my hand they look so cool <laughs> now we don't have tires on and the car isn't completely lowered but these look absolutely insane I'm just not gonna stop hiding them I'm just gonna show you guys so here you go <laughs> Anyways, so you might be thinking, Jake, you're an idiot. Why are you putting on wheels? There's still snow on the ground. Well, as you guys saw literally 30 minutes ago, there was snow all over on the ground and now it's all melting. So like we had like a warm front and we had like no snow for like three weeks. And then all of a sudden we got snow for like a day or two. So this snow isn't gonna stick around and that's why I ordered the wheels. And another reason why I ordered the wheels so quick was because they only had seven of these left. They didn't put the bolt patterns on yet. They didn't even make the faces. They just had the blocks and they could only do seven. So I had to order them like ASAP. So that's another reason why I ordered them. And the reason I'm putting them on so early is because this weekend we are going down to Portland and we're gonna be hanging out with some other guys with modded S4s. And I just didn't want to run the stock wheels, which is why I kind of rushed to get these on as fast as possible. They still might not get on because we have two factors. One, the tires might not be here today, and if that's the case, I and W can't put them on in time. And two, if we get the tires and put them on the car and we end up rubbing, we're gonna have to roll the fenders, which means we can't run the nuke wheels in Portland. I'm gonna put on another wheel on the front and we're gonna see how that one fits. Then we just gotta wait for tires and get them on and hopefully tomorrow I'll be revealing you guys the wheels on the car zero issues and there's the fronts don't mind that um, I ran the car with no bumper and uh, kind of messed that up we got to buy new ones but dang now it's just a waiting game we gotta wait for the tires to get here and then we gotta take them to INW get them on get them on the car all before Saturday which is in two days today's Thursday so now we wait Well, I kind of expected this to happen, but the wheel and tire setup wasn't ready for Portland. They actually got delayed. So if you haven't seen the Portland videos, 
Go back and watch those. They were a lot of fun. Got to ride in a supercharged R8. Anyways, so these are the Nitto NT Triple Fives G2s, and we're wrapping our 19 by 9.5 wide wheels with a 245, 35, 19. It's gonna be a little bit of a stretch, but not a lot. And the reason I'm stretching is because I'm so low that I don't wanna rub really bad on the fender. And we still might rub anyways. So let's go ahead, drop these off, and get the wheels and tires mounted and balanced, and put them on the car. All right, well we got everything in here. It was kind of a tight fit, but we made it work. That's what she said. <laughs> We're dropped off at i and w Now we wait. They said the wheels and tires should be done today. And if that's the case, you'll see them today. Few moments later. The wheels are done. Let's go. Look at that. Gas has went up five cents within the last few hours. It's a good thing I own a V6 and not a V8, eh? We got our passengers back in the car. Let's go home and put these on. Oh! So here's what I'm worried about. You can see I kind of have like a little bit of like a, like a scrape, you know? And it's rubbing on like right there. The issue is we might rub on the new ones. So I'm gonna stop stalling and we're just gonna put on this new wheel and see if it scrapes. Okay, I haven't been this nervous in a long time. Let's see how this goes. That's all the way down. <laughs> That's so close. All right, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and go jack up the other side and that will compress this side and we'll see if it's touching when this side's compressed more. All right, so we got another one on and we got the front high up in the sky. What I should do is teeter that side and I haven't looked yet. Okay. Sheesh, we tucking. All right, Johnny's gonna look at him. What do you think? Oh, wow. They're darker than these ones. You like them? Yeah, they look a lot better than those. Do they look better than the black ones? They look cleaner, yeah. Okay, so look at this. Do you feel any rubbing? I don't feel any rubbing. We're good. These tires are so new and so sticky that they're just picking up rocks, just throwing them in my wheel well. All right, they're on. They're all done. We don't have any rubbing yet. We haven't launched it, but so far so good. These are the M580Rs wrapped in NT555 G2s, finished in a gloss gunmetal, and I hope you guys like them. Alright, so we know what the wheels and tires look like. Looks pretty sick, not gonna lie, but we still got tires that are new, so we gotta break them in. So let's go. <laughs> Alright, we got a red light. Moment of truth. Those grips pretty good. I mean I didn't launch it, but. Oh, the grip, pretty good, pretty good. Oh. I think we're rubbing a little bit. Oh uh, yeah, see, just a tad. I bet you it's that piece right there. Just a little bit. Which I mean, that isn't bad. I mean, it probably was doing the same thing on the other wheels, but we're still gonna launch the car. All right, I don't know if this is a good idea or a bad idea. We're definitely touching a little bit. We're gonna have to get that flattened out, but I wanna test out these tires, so 
We're gonna send it. Ready? We definitely rubbed, but that hooked pretty good. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and the bell so you know I never make a new video. INW, thank you a lot for getting these wheels and tires on in the same day. And FedEx, I'm still mad at you for delaying these in Troutdale, and I couldn't bring these to Portland. But that's how it goes. <laughs> anyways, guys, I'll see you next time. Drive safe. Let's enjoy these gas prices while we can because, well, if you know, you know. <laughs>